Hello, you're welcome. It's Henry the computer guy. So today we are actually going to talk about the reference tab and under the reference tab we shall begin with uh, what we call the type of content. So you want to insert a type of content, how are you going to be able to do that? So assuming that we have uh, uh, some document here we are going to look at before we begin. Let's say you want to make something of this kind, let's say we have computer hardware and under computer hardware we have the input and others as you're seeing, we have software, we have this as you're seeing. So we want to create something of this kind that can really direct users of your document to where certain content is located on a page. So this is very easy, I hope you're going to be following along. Let's uh, minimize this and do what we are supposed to do. So I'll come and look for my new document, for example let me load Microsoft Word. Let me say a new and it's a blank document. So let me get some dummy text here by pressing what we call that run equals our AND. Let me open the bracket. I can put 24. So you need 24 paragraphs with at least let's say three lines of what? Of text. You now press the enter button to get that content. So this is what I'm having at the beginning. But I want to include a table of content at the first page or on the first page, which can really direct users to where my information or a certain item is on a certain page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here, then I press this set up break page page layout, then I'll break this information to go to the next row, to the next page. Such that on to the first page, it's where I'm going to put my my table of core of content. So when I come here I can double click here. So this is where I'll write my table of content. For example, let me first write the heading before we begin even. So it is going to be the table of content. So I can highlight everything by pressing Ctrl A. Then I'll make this one as Times New Roman because it's what I always prefer most. And I can make it 12 at the beginning. So now the whole of my document has been changed to Times New Roman and the size is 12, 12. So I want the table of content, the word for the table of content to be a little bigger than the others. So I'll make it big. I can give it that size. I can make it bold. I can even put it in the center like that. So down here is where I'll put my table of content that is going to be directing my users to where my content is on a certain page, on a certain page. So I'll come at the beginning here. For example, I'll press enter, it goes down, then I press the arrow button to go back and write the heading. For example, we are going to use something of this kind, the one way had in the beginning. So we're going to be talking about computer hardware. We shall talk about all these. That's what we are going to be following. So let me put computer hardware. So I'll highlight this. So for us to include a table of content to our work, we have to be having headings into our document. So I'm going to make my topic here as computer hardware, I'm going to make it as a head, heading, and let me call it heading one. So when I go to heading two, that means that heading two is going to be under heading one. So when I go to heading three, that means that heading three is under heading what? Heading two. So I'll make it the first heading and it's going to be heading one. I can make it bold, I can make it times new Roman, I can put it in the center. So this is my heading as computer hardware. But remember we're going to talk about the categories of computer hardware. That means that I'll come and start talking about the categories of computer hardware. For example, I can come down here, I press enter, I say that we're going to be talking about input hardware. Then I'll make this one heading 2. That means I'll highlight it. I make it as heading 2. I can make it as well times new Roman. I can make it bold. I can even put it in the center. Like that. I can even change the size for it to be somehow smaller than the other size that we are having. So this is what we are going to be doing. Then, for example, if I make this one to be, for example, you say output. Hardware. So remember, I want this one to be similar to this, so I can highlight this. I come to what we call the format painter. I go, I highlight this, such so that it takes the same changes that I put onto the other one. Then I will come down here, I'll put, let's say, I need to put, uh, I need to put, let me put it just below here. Let's say, I want to put, uh, let's say, storage hardware. 
I'm going to do the same by highlighting this one, come to the format painter, I'll select this, it takes the same changes as the other one. Then I can as well say, I'm going to talk about here, the processing hardware. Then I'll do the same by highlighting this one, come to the format painter, then I'll select this. Assuming those are the items we are going to be talking about computer hardware. Then we come to the other one, which is what, which was, let's say software. I'll press enter, then you say I'm going to write computer software. So, remember, I want this one to also be heading 1, but I want it to be similar to the first heading. So, I'll highlight my first heading, I'll come to the Format Painter, I'll come back to my software again, then I'll select it. So, it takes the same items that I give to the what? To the first heading. Then, assuming that we are going to be talking about the two types, then I'll come down here, I can press Enter, I say say System Software. I want this one to be heading to, of course, I'm going to select these ones because they have the same headings, or they're going to be having the same headings, so I'll select here, then I'll highlight it, to be the same as the other one. Then I'll also talk about, let's say, the application. Then I'll highlight this one to be similar to the other one also, I'll come to the Format Painter, I select this one, it takes the same as the other one. So after doing all that, now I'm done with doing my changes, everything that I wanted to put into my document is done, and now I want to start including my table of what? Of content. So I'll come back to the first page, click where I want my table of content to be, then I'll come to the reference tab, because remember, say that we are beginning with the reference tab, and we are specifically talking about the table of content. So I'll click down here, I look for any type of table of content I want to use. So let me begin uh, with the first one, I can come to this one, any that you feel like you want to use. So let me select this. So it brings these items. That means that the computer hardware is on page 2, then under these ones, uh, headings under the computer hardware. Of course they are there. When I come back and make any other change down here, for example, if I come down here and I add something, let's say system startup. Sorry, let's say system. Startup. I want this one to be heading one. I'll come I make it as my heading one. For example, I can let's say use this one, the same similar to this. I'll come and highlight this. I'll come to my home tab. I use the format painter. I'll come and select that heading so that it takes that information that I wanted it to be with the heading one. So I'll select it to go to our center. So now remember I've added something down here, but when I come back to my table of content, I'll not be able to find it there. Why? That means that I've just added something there. So what I'll do, I'll come back to my table of content, I'll right click, then I'll say update the field, the field. Then I'll say update the entire table. Then I'll click OK. So it brings this one back again. So that is how we can always put a table of content or insert a table of content to your document. Whenever you make changes, you'll have to come back and update the table of content. So it has been Henry the Computer Guy. Please don't forget to subscribe below. And uh, so thank you for watching. See you in the next video. I sign out.